New this morning, former Ohio State Buckeye Maurice Claret. You probably recognize the face and the smile, certainly <laughs> the great smile. Uh, he's back in town tonight for the premiere of ESPN's latest 30 for 30 film titled Youngstown Boys, which refers to actually him and Jim Tressel. Uh, the film will focus on Claret and former Ohio State head coach Jim Tressel and their journey through triumph and troubles. Maurice, thanks for being here with us today, man. Uh, thanks for having down. Me. Now, I got to see the film the other night. There was a premiere over at the Gateway Theater at uh, OSU. Um, this is quite the quite the tale. I mean, and watching this, we were just talking off camera. I um, think it's a fairly accurate representation of all the stuff that went down between like the Youngstown days and then the days of Ohio State. Yeah, I think it's a fairly fairly accurate thing. Uh, it was a story that I had always had in my mind, and I always knew uh, that took place or the events that took place in the circumstances and uh, the dynamics of the relationships at that time. Uh, and it wasn't until uh, just 10, 10, 11 years later that I was able to actually uh, tell ESPN. Yeah, I tell you what, your mom sure seemed like a proud mom the other night while talking to her. I got a chance to visit with her a little yeah. bit, you know, and, and it's really nice the way you've rebounded. Um, now, one of the key takeaways, I thought, and you had a little talk afterwards with, with Tress and you and then the filmmakers down yes. on the, uh, the set for people to talk to you, um, was that, you know, kind of your future is dependent on the crowd you hang with to a large degree, right? And that can really take you astray. So one of the messages you have for people is, be careful who you're hanging around with and who you're listening to. Yeah, show me your friends, I'll show you your future. Uh, when I kind of look back at my life or uh, kind of re replayed everything and how it came to what, what it is today, uh, I seen when I was into basically the mischief and, uh, inside the neighborhood and inside the craziness, it was just based upon uh, uh, the, the group thinking or uh, who dominated my thinking, uh, the collective consciousness of everybody. Uh, whenever I got myself on track pretty much where I'm at now, just uh, I can look up and see who I'm next to and see what we're about. Uh, this is pretty much the same thing. Whoever you, whoever you have around you is pretty much a reflection of you. Uh, and when I look back or when I uh, advise any young kid or any adult for that matter, uh, just uh, being more mindful of who, you, who you're around. Now, you just came off uh, a year ago, the anniversary, the 10th year, 10 year anniversary yeah. of the 2002 National Championship. Does that still bring you some joy looking back on those days and those guys and all that stuff you did? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I put a lot of time, a lot of soul, a lot of heart, a lot of effort. Uh, and a whole lot of um, just, just 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 me inside of uh, that season, you know. What I'm saying a lot of us guys, we fought through the whole thing. Uh, maybe at the end of the season, I was 60 or 7 percent, 70 percent. But I was playing with my heart for the other guys who were out there, the singers who really wanted it, who had uh, who had uh, worked their tails off in camp, and uh, who had put so much into the game and just believed in me or just needed me uh, to basically contribute to the team. So when I look back on, I look back at it was a proud moment. I can still remember that moment in Columbus. Uh, the economy was thriving, everybody was happy. There was a sense of pride and uh, we had restored something back here that had been gone for years. Which is um, and also very different you're talking about the economy thriving uh, the early part of the movie that talks about the Youngstown days. Yeah. Oh my gosh Youngstown didn't look like a nice place to be growing <laughs> up. Yeah uh, definitely uh, the, the shutting down of the steel mills affected it uh, <clears throat> and when I can look back on it now I can see how everything trickled down from the 70s the 80s and 90s uh, to where, where they're at now you know when you take the economics out of a place and uh, the, the depression sort of kicks off and everybody's uh, uh, inside that world, uh, it's, it gave me a better understanding of what I grew up in from an economic standpoint. Now, um, you have another event tonight, right? And then yeah. the actual show, tell people where we can actually watch this. Uh, well, we have the event tonight at Cypress Wesleyan. Uh, it's a coat drive. Uh, they're trying to raise a thousand coats to give to uh, six or seven uh, underprivileged schools districts in Columbus. So I hope everybody can come out and join me. Or, uh, or join that. Uh, it's at 377 Alton Darby Hilliard Road. I think I got it right. 3377. Yeah, 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 it's very yeah, good. Yeah, you did that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but uh, bring a coat out. Come out and enjoy the evening. We have a special guest and also uh, a huge surprise. So hopefully everybody can come out and enjoy uh, service from six to seven. And we love uh, surprises. And the movie's actually yeah. on. Yeah, they'll, they'll, tonight. yeah, and they'll have a little screen all there. Yes. And that's going to be. It's a, it's an amazing film. Yes. So we wish you nothing nothing but the best, man. Uh, thanks Appreciate for having you coming me. down. <laughs>